the match. I know who wins. It's already fixed in my favor. At all. So there is no tension when you are watching. You are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. You know the end of the matter. The fight is fixed in your favor. Fixed in your favor. The referee is biased in your favor. Previously on Fresh Dew. What will change your life is when God sends his word, your application of the word that has reached you. And many of us are sitting in the word and doing nothing with the word. The word comes to you, faith comes, you walk by faith, you apply the word, and then it is sufficient to meet the needs in your life. Let's read um, 1 Corinthians 15, 57. Thanks be to God. 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 Glory be to God. Thanks be to God. Who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ? Who gives us? Who gives us? Who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ? That word give is a word that conveys the idea of transferring an object to someone or transacting with someone. Transacting with someone. So, I wish I could remove this. This is grace, and this is faith. This is what? Grace. This is what? Faith. In grace, God provided everything. Hmm? Your victory, everything. Do you know that even in that grace is the faith you need? Did faith start from you? Did you originate faith? Did you begin the idea of faith? So even the faith you're going to use to access this grace, even God gave it to you. But this is, this is the transaction. This is grace. This is where the victory is. This is faith. This is all faith does. Faith accesses. Faith accesses. Faith doesn't go to the enemy's camp. And fight to collect this. Are you getting this? There is need for your faith, but what is it meant to do? Grace, faith. Grace, that's the transaction. Thanks be to God who gives us all grace, who gives us the victory, and then gives us the faith. For us to develop and do this. You want your victory? Jump in by faith. It's already there. So there is a place for your faith. But like I said, you must know the tool for the job. And you must know what it's meant to do. Many of us are trying to use this to go to the enemy's camp and collect our victory by passing what is already ours and going to try and fight. Can you hang on the cross? You cannot face cat in the night. You want to face Satan. Yeah, me out. I got shapra kate. Mana sepra. Honey, what is There is a black cat outside. Rainbow shakata. Black cat, I want to go to the enemy's camp. Before you reach the gates, they have killed you. 
Just leave that camp and go to the one they're done for you. You have a big brother who went and did all the dirty work. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Who gives us? Malay Patu Sakaya. And all we have to do. The minute you don't get this, you bypass grace and enter works. And that is what is shortchanging the body of Christ. We are doing. We are doing. After you do 10 days fasting, if you don't see the victory, you promote it to 20 days. Only the strong shall prevail. After 20 days, you never carry belly. 40 days. Let that devil come and see you. What are you doing? If you are fasting, you are fasting to extract your mind from the cosmos. And invest your, invest your mind in the word of God so you can have the faith to access. That's why you are fasting. But if you are fasting to break down the devil and fasting to get all the problems, you don't know what is already yours. And like I said, if you reach gates, you will, you will enter the camp. Let's go to the enemy's camp. Take back. Take back. Yay. You turn back as a How you want to now? Then different babalawos will pass in front of their name will deceive you. Because you don't know what's yours. Your victory has been given. Your victory has been given. Turn to your neighbor and say, just take it. <laughs> Tell them, drop the religion, just take it. It's too good to be true, collect it. And the way, that's where faith, that's where faith now comes in. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Second time victory. I'll show you where faith comes in. Victory, I tell you that victory is usually obtained, but ours was what? Given. Secondly, victory is usually guarded and kept. So we need to keep ours also. Victory is really guarded and kept. We need to keep ours also. Let's look at Revelations 1, 17 to 18. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys. You hear that? I have the keys of Hades and death. Romans 6, um, 8 to 11. Now, if we died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ having been raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has to be over him. For the death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life that he lives, he lives to God. Jesus took care of the enemy once and for all, made sure there were no loose strings, locked everywhere and took the keys. What are keys? What do keys do? What about access? What do keys do? Or? So keys give access and restrict access. Keys give access and restrict access. So he took the, he took the keys. He completely messed up the enemy. And to secure the victory, he collected the keys. 
Let me see how Satan will collect that key from Jesus. So the keys are with him. Showing that he knows that victory once obtained can be lost. He knows. He could have just walked away. He said, am I not Jesus? He collected the keys. Listen, 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 listen. To give access to those he wants to. And restrict access. From Satan and his cohorts. So your vi- that's why she said victory belongs to Jesus. Your victory is secure. But listen. It means the, listen. The revelation of your victory must also be kept and guarded. You too have a role to play. And where Jesus has a master key, the key you have is the key of faith. That's where your faith comes in. Your your constant living by faith, your constant lifestyle of faith secures your victory. Secures the revelation of your victory to you. Because when you allow yourself to slip away from the life of faith, you begin to forget what is yours. And when pressures hit and storms hit, you find yourself doing things you had left behind. So you don't take a break from faith. You don't, you, you don't go on vacation from faith. Faith is the key. I'm teaching you these things to show you the purpose of faith in your life. When you understand the purpose, faith is easy. But the hard work has been done. It's just to access and it's the key that accesses or restricts access. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Faith is a believer's key that preserves his victory. Any keys Satan seems to have over your life, you gave it to him. You can take it back. Any keys Satan has over your life, you gave it to him. Jesus didn't. Jesus has the master key. You're the one that gave it to him. So Malika to fire. So protected by Jesus' master key. You can take it back. I said you can take it back. I said you should take it back. Satan has no right. No right over any part of your life. Anything is manifesting in your life, you allowed it. Nobody in the village, no system. If you're born of God, you allowed it. So you can take it back. And understanding these nuggets of faith, what you begin to speak, what you meditate on, what you see, what you hear, what you're ready to do without being nervous, will build this lifestyle of faith that will keep the enemy at bay. It's that simple. Just a lifestyle. It's like teaching a child a language. The more you talk, the more the child picks up after you. Before you know the child is speaking. You, you didn't send them to school to say, Mommy, Daddy. They just kept on at it and they learnt it. Are you following me, church? Because of time, I will not take the four, the four markers. I will just tell you two of them. And I will jump to the last one. Second marker is the marker of the love of God. The overcoming life is the life of the love of God. I encourage you to go and read 1 John 5, 1 to 2 again. Write this down. Read Galatians 5, 6. Faith works by love. Love is very important. Love is not a feminine thing. It's a spiritual thing. You are born of love. You need to watch your love life, your agape love life, if you want your faith to prosper. Are you following me? Galatians 5, 6. Faith works by love. Mark eleven twenty two 22 to 26. I'm giving you scriptures to go back and read, and you will see the marker of love there. And 2 Thessalonians 1, 3. Did you get them? 1 John 5, 1-2, Galatians 5, 6, 
Mark 11, 22 to 26, and 2 Thessalonians 1, 3. Then write down this sentence. Love enables or love hinders. Love enables or love hinders. Or lack of love, I guess, hinders. Faith from performing as expected when in operation. Love enables or lack of love hinders faith from performing as expected when in operation. Marker number three, obedience. I don't have time. I'd have loved to teach all this, but I can trust you can go through these scriptures and the Holy Spirit will show you. Marker number three, obedience. Overcoming life is an obedient life. Two very important things you often overlook, thinking we can have victory without them. Love and obedience. They're very important. Obedience. The overcoming life is an obedient life. 1 John 5, 2-3. Philippians 2.8 that shows that you, ha- you, can be vulner- you have to be vulnerable to obey. Philippians 2.8 1 Samuel 15 20-23 God wants your obedience. He doesn't want your sacrifices only. Acts 5.29 Obedience to God is priority over obedience to man. Acts 5, 20, what? 29. And lastly, James 2, 17 from the Amplified. Please build your faith and read these scriptures. Write this down. Obedience is still in fashion. But Bishop, still in fashion. It's not out of fashion. Obedience is still in fashion. God is big on obedience. God is big on obedience. TikTok may not tell you about obedience, but it's still in fashion. Obedience is still in fashion. God is big on obedience. Okay. Lastly, marker number four. Victory. Victory. We're looking at markers of the overcoming life. Victory. Write this down. The overcoming life is a life of continuous victory. I want you to get that bit. Continuous victory. Glory be to God. Continuous victory. Who is he who is overcoming and constantly coming off? I love that from Kenneth Boost. Constantly coming off. Are you constantly coming off as victorious? Constantly coming off. Monday, you are victorious. January, you are victorious. February, you are vi- your story is not, hey, when I was on campus. Have you heard those campus people? I was on fire for God. If demons come near my room, they start to shout from the gate. But now you and demons, you sleep in the same room. Constantly coming off victorious. Constantly coming off victorious. It's a life of continuous, perpetual victory. That's the overcoming life. Church, that's the overcoming life. Church, that's the overcoming life. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Who always, always, I said always, Always. uh thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph. Always leads us in triumph in Christ. 
and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. Aya. Thanks be to God who always no matter the circumstance, he always no matter how bad it is, he always no matter how long it has been, he always pale katusa. No matter the report that contradicts it, he always constantly coming off victorious. That is meant to be your life as a believer. Victory is not a chance event in your life. Some of you take fish and you throw dice. Hey, Siki. And that day you throw. It didn't work. No. No. Victory is in your DNA. Victory is in, do you get this? It's in, that's who you are. Constantly coming off. I want it to get into you. Your default expectation in every situation is victory. Not because you are fighting for it. It's already yours. Palikatusa. It's been given to you. Why would you not take what has been given to you? Why would you not expect to experience what is already yours? Ah, but the doctor said, Thanks be to God, who always... Look at Colossians 2, 15. <laughs> Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. To triumph is to parade triumphantly. Listen, to parade conquered enemies as a sign of humiliation and subjugation. Can we show, can we show Colossians 2.15? Thanks be to God. No, that's the one. 2.15. Having disarmed. Having disarmed. What tense is that? Is he still disarming? Huh? Huh? Is he still disarming? Oh, Jesus, take care of this devil for me. Sorry. Having. Oh, God, there's this, my stepmother, she's a witch. Deal with her for me. Having, sorry, sorry, again, what, what tense is that? Okay, so has he, has he, has he done it? Yes. So he's finished. Yes. Okay, having disarmed principalities and powers. So that's a step more like she, is he inside the principalities and powers? Inside there somewhere. She, maybe she's the second cousin of one principality. She's inside there. Is she there? So having what tense is that? So that means he has taken care of your stepmother. Okay. So what are you meant to be doing? He made a he made a public spectacle of them. Triumphing. What, what tense is that? Sorry, sorry, what tense is that? Having this arm, what tense is that? Triumphing is what tense? So let us do job description of that verse. Let's divide the verse. When you get a job, they give you job description. Let's find Jesus' job there. Which one is his job? Which one is your job? Which one is his job? Disarmed and triumphing. But his triumphing did not end. He now transferred it. To you. You have to, you have to continuously, that is how you constantly come off victorious. You are constantly triumphing. So when your stepmother comes and wags her bony little finger at you and threatens you, you see her in the past tense. 
You enter your room, close the door, and begin to triumph. Begin to praise God that you've been delivered from the powers of darkness. Triumphing. Triumphing. That is the assignment God gave you. God did not give you the assignment to go and fight and disarm. He has disarmed. And if Satan is stupid enough to confront you, you use the authority he has given you. Tell him to get out in the name of Jesus. He's interrupting your triumphant parade and continue in triumphing. Say, well, who is this? In the name of Jesus, please, can you shift? I was triumphing over you. Can you please shift? You don't begin to sweat and get excited. The devil is here, brethren. We must be here all night for a vision. Back up, pa, pa, pa. is the devil poor? There's no need for that. Glory be to God. Thanks be to God who always. And Satan will hear you and say, hey, she knows. Who. She knows the fragrance of your knowledge. Is diffusing. She knows the truth. Too. Ah, let's go to where they don't know. Because it is only where they don't know he can deceive you. Are you hearing me, church? Yes. Perpetual victory. Continuous victory. That is the kind of confidence you have when a fight is fixed. You know what it means when the fight is fixed? Yeah, yeah. What does it mean? All you sports enthusiasts. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. This predetermined. The fight is fixed in your favor. And when you know it, there's no need to sweat it out. The battle is not yours. It's fixed. And in the valley of Baraka, the children of God found it out. They began to praise God, triumphing. And confusion entered the enemy's camp. Go ahead. If you go ahead. The confusion and complete confusion. And all they were doing was praising God. Praising God. They began to fight themselves. Fight themselves. People are fighting themselves and leaving you out. By the time you step in, matter has been taken care of. All the politics going on in your office, you don't need to get involved. Triumphing. Just triumphing. Just praising God. Because the fight is fixed in your favor. The match has been played. It's just a rerun. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's all it is. If you watch a match, you miss the match. And they, 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 they play the, like sometimes a, a movie. My husband and I are watching a movie, and I've watched it before. He warned me, don't tell me what happened. I said, ah, this man. I... Sorry, but he will soon die. <laughs> what happened? I've seen the match. I know who wins. It's already fixed in my favor. That's all. So there is no tension when you are watching. You are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. You know the end of the matter. The fight is fixed in your favor. Fixed in your favor. The referee is biased in your favor. He won't blow that whistle. He will, until you win. 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 He won't blow it. Ah, referee. Time don't reach now. Which time? Which time? My son, are you ready? You hold out. Ah, referee. You are breaking the rules. Though. It's the favor of God. It concerns you. As long as I'm ready to stand, the match is fixed in my favor. 
Somebody give God praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. What is that situation in your life? Begin to praise him about it. That's how you fight. That's the fight that you have. Triumphing over him. Triumphing over them. Triumphing over them. Triumphing over them. Make that parade. It's been done. Just by faith, access what is already yours. Thank you, Jesus. Labi Gasuta. Branta Libusaya. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Please worship him. Lift up your hands. Just give him some praise. Give him some praise. Tola and Soto. I want one short praise song, please. Let's give God some praise. I'll give you a minute to think about it. We need to triumph here. I want us to triumph. And as we do that, things are happening in the spirit realm. Change is happening. The battle is fixed. It's already won in your favor. I want you to praise God for a few minutes and recognize that this has been already done. Somebody give God a shout of praise. Romans 10, 17 says, So then, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You can order today's message and other past messages on our website store, freshdew.tv. It is available on MP3 and CD and also on MP4 and DVD just as seen on TV. Fresh Dew, giving you fresh inspiration and direction for your life.